Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of R&D Garage. I want to give a warm welcome to all my new subscribers. Thank you guys so much for liking my videos, for subscribing, and for sharing my videos. So every once in a while, I like to go back and watch some of my older videos that I've made. And I'm, you know, be, be humble and everything. I, I pretty much like all the videos I've made, but there's one that I'm like, we can do better. And it's the one where we dip my FJ rims. And it's not that it was a bad video, it's just I had a cold that day so we did like this voiceover thing and it was windy outside and frankly it's just not working for me. So we are going to redo the dip on my rims. So moving forward, these are some of the items you're going to use. Before we get to those, if your rim is at all dirty, um, make sure to clean it down with some simple green, some paper towels, rags, just to get it a little bit shiny before we start with these. Moving on to these. So first and foremost, you're going to need some rags. You'll need a lot of paper towels, a respirator, because you're going to be working with chemicals and you really don't want to breathe that in. We'll need um, some alcohol here, the denatured alcohol, obviously whatever color dip you're planning on using, a tool to actually get the rim and tire off your vehicle, all of them, <laughs> and then some tire gloss and the tire gloss brush because we're going to be scrubbing these down. Okay, let's move on. Okay guys, so like I said, the first step is getting this rim and tire as clean as possible. This is super important, especially if you drive a four by like me that sees lots of mud and dirt, because any speck of dirt left over on the rim, the dip isn't gonna stick to, and then you're gonna have crappy looking rims. <laughs> we don't want that. So what you're gonna do if you don't have a pressure washer at home is go to your local car wash that does. And that way, um, by removing the hub first, you can just basically spray as you know the highest setting and just make sure you get all removal of dirt and mud and what have you from these rims. Um, it's also important to have a tool like this little gross looking toothbrush thing because you can just kind of scrub along the edges of the rim. Super important to get all the dirt and grime away all around the edge there. Um, you also want to get all the dirt around the valve stem gone in the lug nuts area underneath. And after that's all done, make sure the rim is perfectly clean and dry before you do the simple green, because, you know, it's just using one chemical after another, you kind of don't want to combine everything. So we'll clean it down with simple green. And then when we're done with that, you're going to use the tire shine. And as you can see on this tire right here, it looks like super wet glossy. And so that's basically what you're going to do. We want this nice glossy sheen so that the dip eventually will not be stuck to the tires. Okay, so now we've moved on to the denatured alcohol step. So with that, you're going to use your white rags or paper towels and really just clean down the entire rim. And it's super important, like I said, to use white because that way you can constantly check to make sure there's no dirt or grime anywhere on the towel. Because if there is, you got to keep going with, <laughs> with the clean. Okay, so we're just about ready to go here, but a couple more things. Um, you never want to do this outside if it's windy because obviously you're going to get particles of dirt or what have you into your paint and that's just not a good look. Um, with this particular brand of paint and actually with any kind of dip, you're going to want to shake the can vigorously for about a minute because the paint is super thick. And also when we get ready to paint the rim, we're not going to have it lay flat like here. Uh, we are obviously going to keep the drop cloth, which is what you'll want to use as well. And obviously be sure to do this away from any nice cars or, you know, anything you don't want to get paint on by accident. But we're going to stand this up vertically because this kind of emits a little bit of a cloud and it'll be kind of modeled if we do it with it flat. So I'll be right back and then we'll start dipping. Okay guys, well we're just about ready to dip, but before I actually start dipping, well, I'm going to have my respirator on so I won't be able to walk you through the steps. So I'm going to do that right now. So as you can see, we have our rim and tire vertical, super important. I've already shook the can vigorously for a minute, also super important. So what we're going to do after this is hold the can away about six to 10 inches, and then you can go ahead and start spraying that light first coat. Right, just like this. You can even move the tire back and forth to reach kind of like those hard to reach areas, which is good. 
And even though we're doing a first coat super thin, you eventually want to use almost the entire can of dip per rim, which is basically what we did the last time we dipped the rims. This is good because if you've ever tried to remove a thin dip from a rim, oh my gosh, it's horrible. So don't even go there. <laughs> it's And also I feel a thicker dipped rim just looks better in the long run. If you catch a rock or if someone happens to kick your rim, you know, something like that, it doesn't chip and it still looks good. So, okay, so we're gonna put on the first thin coat. We're gonna wait about maybe 30 seconds to a minute just to let that, that thin coat clear or uh, cure, sorry. And then after that, we're gonna start spraying it on thicker and just, you know, get on a nice thick coat. And after that, once you can see it's totally, totally covered, we're gonna let that cure for about half an hour and then come back to it. And you'll do that part about three or four times until you're perfectly satisfied with it. And one last thing, don't worry if you get the tire, that's why we put on the tire gloss. It will not stick and you'll be able to peel it off once it's fully dry. I'm gonna put on my respirator and get going. Okay, you guys, my bad. Before you start dipping the rims completely before the first spray comes out of the can, go ahead and spray the paper a little bit because the first drop that comes out is always kind of like a spatter. You know, like when you put ketchup or mustard on your hot dog, it does this, does that. <laughs> well, this does the same thing. <laughs> Apparently the cameraman thought that was funny too. But anyway, there you go. <laughs>
Well guys, here's the finished product after its fourth coat. Now remember with the fourth coat, you're going to get it super wet and heavy. Not so wet that you get actual drips coming off of it. That's not good, but just enough so that it can completely coats the rim. You don't see any spots where, you know, you might've missed just so it looks like this. <laughs> and you'll see here, we actually took the center cap off like I showed you at the beginning and we popped the little emblem off in the beginning as well. Um, we may be painting this guy red in the near future. Not sure yet. The paint was unfortunately not available right now, but we managed to coat and dip of the center cap and then pop the silver emblem back in once it was dry. So I'm extremely excited to see how that's gonna fit back on. So all said and done, I'm gonna bring you guys a little bit closer and I'm gonna show you how easy it is to peel off the excess. So this is exactly why we use that heavy duty tire gloss on these tires. It's so making the peeling job that much more fun and that it will come off. So what you're gonna do is basically kind of go around the tire and find like an edge where it's super simple to start. And while you're doing this, be very, very careful when you get down to the edge of the rim itself, because if it looks like there's any possible way you're actually gonna remove it from the rim, stop and use a little razor blade instead. So I'm just gonna, I'm not gonna do the whole thing right now, but I'll give you a little idea of what it's, what it'll look like. See how it cleanly, oh, I love that feeling. It's like peeling a sunburn. <laughs> Gross, <laughs> sorry. And see how easily it comes away. There we go. Well guys, looks like I got myself a CVS receipt. <laughs> Luckily that one came off pretty easy. You should have the same easy time of it. And don't worry if there's a little bit of excess dust because once you take your rag and kind of buff everything down a little bit, all the dust will be gone. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the remake of this video as much as I did making it. I wanna thank all you guys for watching R&D Garage. Oh my gosh, thank you so much to all my new subscribers. Thank you for liking my videos, for sharing them. And I will come up with something very cool next. See you later, guys.